So for um, capturing the uh, screen, I uh, am using Cam Studio, and you've got a series of options that you can actually set if you'd like to. Obviously, one of the options is to do with um, the video, and that's really just um, set of options to do with um, the kind of uh, uh, compression system you use. Um, uh, the one that we I'm using on this computer is the Microsoft compression system, but we could you could try other compression systems to see whether or not you could get the, uh, um, the screen size um, file size down. Um, I know YouTube uses the DVX codec, so we can actually try that um, because that particular codec is uh, the file type that is used at um, YouTube. Anyway, so we'll set that and. Uh, the other thing that you um, can use to make the uh, screen size small is to change the area that is actually uh, used. If you set the screen capture to full screen, obviously the file size is going to be quite big. Now, if you set it to fixed region or region, you can draw the area that is actually going to be captured. In this particular capture, I've got all this blue area that probably isn't necessary in relationship to this small window that I'm capturing, but later on, I'm actually going to use that um, to fill it up with some uh, feedback about how this went. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually capturing this. We're going to have a look at it in a second and then do some more, more compression with it. So after I've um, set up my options and so forth, I'd need to press the record button and then drag a box around an area that I want to do the screen capture with. I'm not sure what's going to happen here at this point because I've got one screen capture capturing this. So if I press this, it does actually show me the box that it, yes, it wants to draw. So there's the window, and I can make that box having selected region to be inside the light. Okay, so there is a problem obviously with this, and I'll just pause. Having created the file, I'll press stop, and having stopped, I'll actually get a, uh, a window showing me the file is being um, compressed. Once the file is compressed, it'll open in a player so that we can actually play the window. So for so um, capturing, might it be able to hear yeah. my voice? My um, it's certainly showing me how um, this capture worked, and I can make a judgment whether that's what I want to keep or not. So that's enough to see that it is actually working. And now having saved this file, I'm going to open up another product to do some more compression using the uh, Windows Movie Maker software, which is built into um, PC computers or Windows computers, at least at the XP level. To get the uh, program Windows Movie, um, Movie Maker open. We've got to go to Accessories and try and find the program. There it is there. And hopefully we'll see it open somewhere. Now it's open and uh, we can uh, possibly resize it so it fits our window a little bit better. Now, having uh, got the Movie Maker open, we have to, uh, at the moment, we're running the program uh, using um, uh, an old pro uh, project we were looking at. But we have to um, come in and import some video. The video that we just captured earlier was this Cam Studio video. So I'm just going to click on import. The files will come in. They may actually open in uh, various clips if it thinks that there is a series of clips here. Yep. So it, uh, it's seen what it thinks are scenes here and re recreated uh, those as clips. So there's quite a few in the uh, the window is clips, but over here we've got the app play button. I can uh, decide that uh, perhaps it can start exactly where I wanted it to, so I'm just by adjusting the position here and leaving it in pause mode, I can just uh, edit this clip ever so slightly to get rid of that uh, very first part. So all I've done is split the clip into two other sections, and now we're not running this, this clip, we're running this clip, and we can have a full run capturing. Okay, so that's yeah. fine. And uh, then uh, we we'll want to assemble the other clips that are in this link into a full movie, some of which uh, uh, will be uh, also editable, but what we'll need to do is use this timeline down here. There's various ways to use the timeline. Um, one way is to actually show it as a storyboard as it's set up at the moment, or if you click here, we can see it as a series of clips. Now what we're going to do is assemble this film that we've got in our series of clips in the order that they've dropped into this uh, particular clipboard here. So I'm on the second clip because I edited out the first and I drop that um, second clip in there and then I drop the third clip in there, just keeping on going down, fourth clip in here. Now these will actually just all assemble very, very straightforwardly as a full kind of extension 
of the whole of my capture. Having done that, I can actually finish this movie. I don't need to do any more, but you could if you wanted to under edit. You could actually put titles on or put some other things as well. Uh, but at the moment, all I need to do is make sure that the finish movie button is uh, in the uh, up position so that I can save this movie to my computer. I, do, I, I don't want to do any of these other things at this point. I just want to save the clip to my computer so I can compress it a bit better. So clicking on save to my computer opens this window where I can call the movie something um, um, Cam Studio and uh, I want to save it in a particular folder or browse to a new folder on my computer and then go down to next. And then the most important thing here is to uh, choose a setting that will actually compress well. Now at the moment uh, I've got it set by clicking to the other setting. Sometimes when you get in here for a movie maker it's set to best quality to your computer. It actually shows you down here what the kinds of details are for this particular file. This isn't too bad by the way. This setting is actually creating a file at 640 by 480 pixels, 4 by 3 at 25 frames per second uh, and the file size is going to be 9.27 megabytes. Um, so what we can do though is make some adjustments here if we'd like to by choosing other preset uh, uh, settings that are available to us. So that was uh, video for LAN. We've got um, a bigger file size at um, 1 megabit per second but we might bring it down a little bit further say back down to video for broadband and all that changes here is that the bitrate changes, uh, well the bitrate didn't change, but the dimensions have changed up to 320 by uh, 240 pixels and uh, the estimated size is 8.26 so it's a little bit smaller. So having clicked on next that will actually take us to, um, to the compression and we'll see that that takes a little while uh, as this window builds up here. So what we'll do is we'll find that it'll try and open this movie when we click on the finish button as it comes in, uh, it'll open in uh, Windows Media Player. Uh, we don't need to do that because uh, we'll just go and uh, straightforwardly uh, get it into YouTube now. So I'm um, in YouTube, I just need to go to Upload a Video and uh, give it a title, um, uh, My New Movie, and uh, give it uh, a little bit of a description, uh, how to um, demos with video capture uh, get a tag in there maybe cam studio you have to fill in each of these for um, the uh, YouTube environment um, this is an educational one but they don't have an educational category and you have to, to identify a category so now we want to just continue uploading by clicking continue to up so what we need to do is click on the browse button and find the file on the computer that uh, I put into this particular folder which is going to be a few seconds to uh, actually get to and uh, here is the, uh, the file called um, Cam Studio Compress there we go and click on open um, and that will come in uh, after we've made a couple more settings uh, when we click on upload video as you can see, it's building up here. It will um, drop into a new window when it's completed the upload. It's saying that it's interesting to complete now to view it. Eventually, it will flip back to uh, your account and show you um, possibly a thumbnail of one of the frames of your video. But the thing that we really are interested in, this is where we can actually change the information on the particular file if we want to. Uh, certainly switching it from uh, public to private, but we don't want to do that, we want to leave it in public so the whole class can see it. But down here the most interesting tag in this environment is the embed the HTML um, tag for that particular video is all of that um, script in that window. Now if I click across that by dragging my cursor across it and right click on it and copy it, this uh, piece of script is ready to go in my blog. So if I um, go into my uh, blogger account by using my um, username and password um, we can uh, paste that script that I just copied into my account. If I sign into my account uh, and open uh, the account and look for one of my blogs I can do a new post in one of my blogs and uh, I can in the uh, 
the message area, I can just paste that script in um, and make sure, this is the other thing you've got to make sure, that the tag is actually on edit HTML, not on the compose uh, normal window. We've got to be in the edit HTML mode. And then we can just scroll down and publish that. And it will come up as a window if I view my blog into my latest post. So this is a uh, Studio How To. Uh, it is actually showing uh, the other um, background clip, but eventually this will load the, uh, a frame from my own movie. I press play, and that will actually play from YouTube inside my blog and uh, give people an opportunity of watching a demonstration on how to use um, some software or how to use a particular screen environment.